Deep in the heart of Australia, past the rugged outback, there lies a desolate wasteland. Miles upon miles of sun-scorched earth, littered with cracks, seemingly devoid of life. But something does live here. This barren landscape has shaped a truly deadly predator. A predator whose venom could kill an adult human 100 times over. Meet the Inland Taipan, a venomous elapid related to things like king cobras, coral snakes, and more. Drop for drop, these are the most venomous snakes on Earth. But what does their bite actually do to us humans, and how deadly are these snakes really? To answer my questions, I'll have to venture deep into some of the most treacherous habitat on Earth to get face to face with the most venomous snake on the planet. Why? Because that's what I'm all about. My name is Jack, and I've dedicated my entire life to traveling all over the globe to find the strangest and most dangerous animals alive. I'm willing to get in close where others wouldn't dare in order to uncover and share the truth about even our most deadly and misunderstood creatures. Today, I'll come face to face with the Inland Taipan, and hopefully I'll get my answers I need to find out just how deadly these snakes and their bites truly are. Let's get on the road. Now folks, <clears throat> we've been driving for ages, not a single snake starting to lose a little bit of morale it is brutal out here there's not much else we could see aside from these tie pants um, as you can see kind of through the window right here um, it is just planes that go on for miles and miles so we're really hoping that we can turn something up conditions are still good and yet we find ourselves without the snake we're after our eyes are just so fatigued from just staring at plain ground all day, all morning, all evening. Um, it is just rough. So we've only got a limited amount of time here to look for these. So we're really hoping that we can uh, turn one up soon. It's going to be a pretty big fight. Now, our first two days of searching did not yield anything, so we were beginning to lose hope that our third and final day would be just as fruitless. However, as we set out on our daily drive, my good friend Callum spotted something special off the side of the road. Oh. There's another shed next to it. Look at that. Oh. Oh my gosh. That's that's a fairly big one too. At least a meter long. I don't know how much the shed is stretched. That could be a meter and some change. <laughs> this morning for sure. Okay, well that uh, that shed. I reckon if we just go real slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shed was the first uh, real sign that we're on the right track. So we are just gonna start slowly going back and forth on this one stretch, and hopefully that'll that's gonna turn up our our taipan. We got Jesse on big lookout, <laughs> standing outside the window, um, but. Uh, Hopefully we're close. Hopefully we're close. No more than 20 minutes after we found that shed, I hear Jesse yell that he spotted a taipan. I park the car and run out to meet my most critical target, the inland taipan. Jesse's got one, Jesse's got one, Jesse's got one. Hi. There it is. You're kidding, yeah. bro. Oh my God. Look at it. Bro. Oh. Yeah, baby. Check out this beauty, folks. This right here is the Inland Taipan, a.k.a. the Fierce Snake. 
Now this is truly Australia's most venomous snake and one of the most venomous reptiles on the entire planet. This is our planet's most venomous terrestrial snake. And what a spectacular animal it is. Now we've been searching for days, fruitlessly, for this species. And although this is quite a small one, we are very happy to see such a spectacular species, finally in the wild after searching. Now, the inland taipan's venom is horrific. It's primarily neurotoxic. However, it's got some hemotoxic and myotoxic properties as well. The venom is designed to essentially kill its prey immediately. That potent and powerful neurotoxin goes in and just shuts the nervous system down. And while for a rat, that might be immediate, even for an animal large as ourselves, this can be a very quick process. Now, what this means is that bites wreak havoc systemically throughout the body. In mere minutes, you can start to suffer from respiratory issues from the neurotoxin paralyzing your diaphragm. This can mean losing consciousness shortly after being bitten is incredibly likely. Internal bleeding, full body shock, cardiac arrest. I mean, all this stuff can set in following a bite. This means inland taipan bites could potentially be fatal in under 30 minutes, maybe even immediately. Now, 30 minutes may seem like enough time to get to an emergency room, but take a look around, folks. We are in the middle of nowhere. Receiving a bite from this snake out here would mean certain death. Now, as you can see, even the most venomous snake on Earth, its first instinct is to flee. It's really only becoming defensive once it feels like it needs to be. You can see it's trying to inch its way further and further away from me. And that's really typical of venomous snake behavior, folks. Even these super toxic, dangerous ones, this could kill a room of a hundred of me. It's more interested in fleeing at the first sign of danger rather than standing its ground to fight. Just another wonderful example of the true nature and behavior of these animals. Although, yes, this is the most venomous terrestrial snake on Earth that does not really make it any more or less dangerous than any other snake as long as you respect it and give it distance. The inland taipan has a deadly venom. That much is obvious. But why do they need such a toxic bite? Well, take a look at this habitat. It doesn't just look barren. It is is barren for the vast majority of the year. Inland taipans come across food very rarely, and when they do, they can't afford to waste energy if there's no guarantee they will catch prey when they see it. This is how the inland taipan's venom likely came to be. The more venomous they became, the less food slipped past their clutches. Using a potent, primarily neurotoxic venom essentially instantly kills their prey, allowing these snakes to safely and effectively hunt their usually dangerous rodent prey. This is an animal with a powerful, potent, venomous weapon. Now, this weapon was developed, of course, to procure food in this barren, dry, arid region. But it can double as that kind of double-edged sword as a means of defense, and what a wicked defense that is. We know how dangerous their venom is, but how deadly is their bite? What if I told you the inland taipan, despite being the most venomous snake on Earth, has never killed a single person? Confused? I totally get it. We often equate an animal being the most venomous as being the deadliest, but this just isn't true. In fact, there are numerous snake species, much less venomous than the inland taipan, that have killed countless people. So where's the disconnect? Take, for example, the eastern brown snake, the second most venomous snake in all of Australia and possibly the world. Now, these snakes are common along the east coast where a huge portion of the population of Australia lives. Because of this, they make up the lion's share of fatal snake bites in Australia. Because they're more venomous than the inland taipan? No, because they live in close proximity to dense populations of people. Conversely, the inland taipan inhabits remote, black soil plains virtually uninhabited by people, meaning bites simply just do not occur. Funny enough, this makes the inland taipan one of the least deadly, deadly snakes 
in Australia. I guess it really is all about location. All right, folks, we had a great time with this fantastic and spectacular inland taipan. Truly one of the coolest snakes on Earth. Easily the most venomous terrestrial snake on the planet. And these are no joke, folks. But this lovely little guy is ready to get on his way. It's a nice juvenile. It's a, starting to become a decently warm day, so we're going to let him get off. Maybe he's going to find some dragons to eat. Maybe he's going to find some little mouse nests or rat nests out here and have himself a nice meal. But what a fantastic little snake. Despite its potent venom and deadly bite, the inland taipan rarely poses a realistic threat to anyone. Inhabiting remote and isolated habitat generally far from human dwellings means that most taipans will never encounter a human being, let alone find themselves in a situation where they have to defend themselves with a bite. Like most venomous snakes, these reptiles are quick to flee or retreat underground when they feel in danger, and rarely will strike unless they feel stressed or cornered. This means unless you're going out to intentionally encounter an inland taipan, like I'm doing here, you're never really going to find yourself at risk of being bitten by this snake. For this reason, I give the inland taipan a deadly bite rating of 7 out of 10. A little low, but while its venom tops the chart, its secretive nature, remote habitat, and general avoidance of people makes for an unlikely bite scenario. It's easy to think an animal is automatically more dangerous or deadly because of its intimidating adaptations. But it's important to remember that's the only way that these creatures can survive. A taipan's venom evolved to help it survive in a harsh environment, not to help it kill humans. There's no reason to fear this snake. Understand that these are just animals doing their best to survive with the tools nature has equipped them to survive with. Folks, thanks so much for tuning in today. We had a great time filming this spectacular animal, and we are ready to maybe find some more spectacular Australian wildlife. We're going to wish our lovely Taipan friend a warm goodbye, and uh, hopefully this is not the last time we encounter such an iconic species.